Welcome to another episode of Mango Hick Motorsports Power Wheels. <laughs> I used to have a shop where I built race cars and stuff, but now we build power wheels. Anyway, uh, a little update on the Jeep. I'm a little sick today, but <clears throat> I can't sit in the house and just stare at a TV or some shit like that. So, um, decided to come out here and screw with power wheels. Uh, I got the front of this thing kind of wired up a little bit for some uh, some headlights and fog lights and I got some LED strips for the turn signals and all that stuff stored in the box there. And, uh, I got a little stuff to fabricate. I'm, I'm going to do that in the house though. Um, but in the meantime, I decided to go ahead and 24 volt it because I got some other stuff on the way that's kind of pending it. Um, I had a pedal um, that I purchased with the controller. Um, I kind of like this pedal because it, it has a pretty good amount of force to it, um, and it also allows her to uh, it's got a good amount of spring pressure to it, so she can't go all the way down. It's uh, it's actually pretty nice. It's running on the stock motors right now. I got some HPI 550s on the way. Um, we should be here in a day or two. And some more Robinson Racing Pinion gears. Or some tracks. I can't remember what I ordered. Um, anyway, um, the controller itself is actually a, a, a thousand watt soft start unit from East Coast Power Up. I purchased the controller separately. Um, I would not even recommend uh, Stressing West to ask him to sell you a controller. I would purchase the entire kit. <clears throat> it's very inclusive. I've actually done my homework on it. Uh, Wes has done a great deal of engineering to put that package together <clears throat> and it actually looks like it works really well. I on the other hand have kind of different scenarios so I just needed the controller by itself. Um, the pedal actually came from a, another purchase that I made when I got this other controller. It's a 700 watt at 24 volt controller. Um, but it came with the pedal. Uh, it was a pretty good price on it. It's like 40 bucks for the controller and the pedal. And I'd seen the pedal for 20 bucks, and I couldn't find the controller for 20 dollars. So I said, "Screw it! Why not just go ahead and buy the uh, the pedal and the controller as a set?" Um, the pedal does kind of work out pretty well in here because it screws straight into the floor. Uh, I got some M6 by 125 uh, low profile Allen screws on there, and some uh, some lock nuts on the bottom, some washer lock nuts. Um, so <clears throat> that's kind of the pedal situation. Um, in the back here, I didn't make the motor wires long enough because I actually made the harness first and then I made the, uh, the cut to the harness. If anybody needs an Escalade harness, I've got an Escalade harness over here, pedal shifter, all that stuff from the Escalade. I've also got a radio that works. Um, the radio as well as the rear speakers work. Yeah, it does work. You get the gist of it. Anyway, um, I'm not selling the speaker deck, just the speakers and the radio. If you want those, just drop me a message. Uh, anyway, the, the controller is a thousand watt soft start. Um, it actually gives you about a second and a half before it kicks in full amperage. Um, it seems to work pretty well. Um, I didn't really like it on the Jeep that much uh, because the Jeep has rubber tires and has excellent traction. Um, it doesn't really need to have a soft start to keep it from blowing the tires off of it. So uh, I ended up going with a full full on power control. Um, if you look at some of my other videos, you'll see me almost breaking my neck with that thing. It actually does wheelies now. So um, yeah, I think we're where we want to be with that. With this, um, I feel like being as it has slick tires on it, um, it needs a soft start controller. So that's why I threw this on here. Um, I'll let her drive it and see if she likes it. Um, if she does, then we'll go ahead and continue with this. And uh, if she doesn't, I may have to swap the pedal out. That's the only thing I'm really worried about is the pedal. But she seems to really like uh, PWM controls. Um, she likes her, uh, the Jeep, of course, is pretty fun. Um, and it's easy to creep around in that. And so is the, uh, the Razor over here. The Razor is also um, 24 volt and it has uh, a scooter controller on it. It's underneath it. It's actually buried way up underneath here. But the gist of it is, give your kids some control. Um, if you're going to throw these, throw 24 volts at these things, 
um, you really need a way of keeping the gearboxes from shredding themselves to pieces from shock loading. Uh, shock loading is uh, an issue with uh, whether it be you know you're driving off for a truck and you're bouncing your tires off of rocks and you're constantly gaining and losing traction. Um, the same thing with uh, power wheels. I've noticed a lot of kids without um, ESCs, um, they tend to hit the throttle and it ends up in this uh, oscillation of on off, on off, on off, on off, on off. Um, stuff like that's what really tears up these gearboxes. Uh, I don't know if you guys really realize that. Um, if you're going to make these things fast, um, do it in a way that it, it makes it uh, makes the life of them uh, a little bit prolonged. Because you're dealing with kids here, so uh, they're going to ride, ride their stuff as much as possible. Anyway, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. Uh, follow my page, Magnetic Motorsports on Facebook. If you have any questions, uh, you can shoot them there or here uh, in the comment section. Thanks for your time. See you guys later.